But, um... <laughs> I dropped the mic. Double text. Got me out of my element. I don't want to feel like I'm settling. Double texting. Insta sweat bees fill me cupids shot me my heart beats racing tempt me try me feel so exciting thought of Ali is yours entirely It's a very lonely process. I mean, it's going to be lonely anyway because 
you gotta quarantine but very lonely like people were texting me asking me how I was feeling because I had I put it in my close friends so some people knew that I wasn't feeling well and then I made like a TikTok um, with this little sound that was kind of like funny um, but um, that was after I was feeling a little better but it was just very lonely like I was like dang um, my grandma did come by and drop me off some things um, I had a couple other uh, friends come by and drop me off like waters dang son I'm really sorry gosh I, like I hate it get it together but anyway um, a couple other friends did come and drop me off like some water and ginger ale and soups um, things of that nature so I'm very appreciative of them um, because I wasn't feeling it I did DoorDash one night because my taste buds didn't go away which I was happy about <laughs> so I was still able to eat and stuff um this car drop oh all right but i was still able to eat and everything so i was in the mood for chinese i really wanted not chinese food like hibachi i really wanted like some hibachi i wanted some vegetables and rice and um so i door dashed that but it was just okay like it's not the same as having it cooked in front of you like when it's fresh off the little grill and it's good and they got the little soy sauce like they got the little sauces and it wasn't the same but um it still was fine um overall i do feel better um i do still have a cough and it's funny because like when i'm on tiktok they give me now covid content like i'll see a tiktok about covid and it was one of them they were saying like when you're trying to like have a conversation with somebody but your covid cough is like you you feel need to cough and it's so funny like that's how i feel like I need to cough like I still have a cough and I still have like mucus and stuff sorry if that's TMI but I still have like a cough and everything I still do feel like my voice is a little funny I don't know if I'm like hearing it differently like I don't know if my ears are just kind of picking up my sound differently like I don't know but I feel like my voice still isn't all the way there um what else um but it's funny because the people under the tiktok comments were all agreeing like they were all saying the same thing like yeah i had covid and like um, i still be coughing and i was like y'all like <laughs> it's interesting just being out and about and you hear somebody coughing um and you think like oh like oh they got covid but it's really like the after covid call like that's really very possible because i still be coughing and it's like oh my gosh i don't want to be coughing around people it's very embarrassing <laughs> It's like, oh, I don't want people to think I'm just coughing away. Like, I don't want people to think I'm just giving away cold and stuff. But it's definitely still a cough that, like, exists in my body. So I am going to, like, I do, I have been drinking some tea still here and there. Um, not every day, but here and there I do drink some tea. Um, I did get some ginger tea and, um, what else is it, turmeric tea. I do have actual uh, raw ginger. Um and stuff like that so i did get some black seed oil as well that was recommended to me some black seed oil so i'll put that in my tea um so you know i'm just rolling with the punches right now um um and just taking it day by day i am um still i am back at work now so that's like a whole nother battle to fight because the girls at my job have covid so it's just a mess y'all like it's a mess i'm not gonna lie but um i'm feeling better so i did miss y'all i do have some other good like exciting type of news and stuff over the course of my uh break <laughs> um i did do i did upload the december favorites video i've been i was sitting on that video for whatever reason i just had it sitting in my in my sd card don't know why i just i don't you know what it is I I was I wasn't really feeling it like it was something about it and then it's funny as I was editing it I realized that I forgot some items like I had recorded my necessary I wanted to talk about my necessary and add that to my December favorites my body wash I wanted to add that I wanted to add the bum bum cream I wanted to add um, and it was one other thing that I had in there that I forgot to talk about so I couldn't just put that footage in there you know so i was like i'm working like uh. but um aside from that um 
some other good news i did have my meeting i did i think i explained to you guys my meeting with um yamaya who i was i was trying to figure out if i needed like a um a social media like manager but we actually decided to do this little three month training not training but a three month yes basically a training basically because basically what we'll do is we'll meet and i'll be able to email her questions about being an influencer anything influencer related how to get brand deals um how to pitch anything like that um i'm able to uh, meet with her about for a span of three months so we're gonna do that and i thought that was a really great idea because um just learning from someone who's actually doing it like learning from a content creator who um who put her work into <laughs> in the real life you know she was saying that she got a um a, a 10k brand deal with i think it's um pinterest she was saying over the summer she got like a ten thousand dollar brand deal with them and i'm like that's amazing like honestly that's what content creators aim for so a couple other things i did get reached out to by majori which is a jewelry brand and i do have to post their content i do have to post their content um i'm sorry i thought it was a, a cop behind me <laughs> but i do have to post their content by the 20th it's literally the 18th like I have to take this picture tomorrow but as you guys can see my hair I didn't get my hair done of course I had to cancel my hair appointment and then aside from that my nails still busted y'all this is the same set this is the same nail set that my dad was like I can see your cuticles like so y'all know I need to get my nails done like my nails are crazy um but I was sick so I couldn't get I couldn't make a nail appointment um so I do have to get all of that stuff scheduled um i'm gonna try and get my hair done next week and get my goddess lock or my, my um yeah i'm gonna get i'm gonna get soft locks actually so i'm gonna make that appointment for next week um so um but anyway that's why i didn't post the majority content yet because it's a pair of earrings and my hair wasn't done so like how am i gonna post you know what i'm saying how am i gonna post my earrings and my hair not done so um, I just end up doing these little twists again and then I'm just going to take a picture side profile Maybe gel my hair down do a little edge, you know, make it look kind of cute from the side um, And then post that and get that to them. So um, What else Oh, my bag did come I did get my um, my Kurt Geiger bag But I didn't even open the box yet y'all because I wanted to unbox it I wanted to unbox it with y'all or at least make a TikTok. I wanted to do something but my nails not done I couldn't do it my nails are not done like my nails are crazy so I didn't open that yet but I did get it um, another thing I did get reached out to by a brand a, a, it's a purse brand a bag brand whatever you want to call it um, and they're based in I think China but they have these really cute little handbags and they asked me um, to like uh, do a collab with them um, and they sent me over like the requirements and everything and I'm excited about that. It is a gifted collab um, Which I'm not too upset. About. You know, it's a gifted collab. I'll take a bag child. Okay, I'll take a bag and the bag is like 300 350 So I was like, okay, this is a really cute, you know, I don't mind a little gift, you know, I don't mind a gift so um, <laughs> um, That was exciting um, And um, That yeah, that pretty much sums up like what's been going on over the course of the week um that's all you guys pretty much missed child i did record while i was sick like i would literally just press my play, play my camera and sit there and drink some tea i did show you guys me making some tea um the goal for the the content was to get like a cold like a covid helping people like what i did for covid what i did during covid um things that i did to keep myself a little occupied just sitting in the house i was like kind of reading and i was um filling out my planner and doing my to-do list still trying to like mind you this is after i was feeling a little better like this is not the first couple days this is after i was feeling a little bit better um just still trying to get some type of content out there and not feeling like i'm just wasting away in my room like oh gosh um so you know um that that's pretty much the sum of it you know what i'm saying i do have to work later it's nine in the morning um i do have to go food shopping i'm probably going to do that tomorrow i'll take you guys with me um what else do i have to do 
Um, I didn't get to go to my cousin's birthday dinner. I didn't mention that to you guys, I think in one of my previous vlogs, but I, cause I was sick, clearly. So I did text her happy birthday and stuff and told her to have fun. Um, I wasn't able to attend, unfortunately. I was kind of looking forward to going, so I was just kind of like, uh. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, I did have a website um, consultation so I did do that <laughs> that was on like Monday so it was like right when I was kind of feeling funny but I did get that out of the way and um, I'm waiting on him to send me some more stuff because he has some more items that he wants to on his site that he didn't get yet so he doesn't have like an inventory count and stuff like that so I'm still kind of waiting on him with some information but that'll be nice um, and yeah that's pretty much the basis of it it is snow here again but um, it rained literally that same night, so the rain just knocked the snow right out. Um, but let me know in the comments how you guys are feeling, how you guys are doing. Um, I didn't, uh, I don't know if you guys, some of you guys may have known I had COVID. I'm not really sure if you guys had me on like TikTok and stuff. But, um, but yeah, I'm back, thankfully. Ready to get this party started. It's like, nah, um, no, but I do need to get my nails done and stuff like that. So you guys will see all of that footage in the upcoming well this won't get posted until like sunday so in the next couple of days you guys will see that and i will talk to you guys a little bit later oh i did mean to mention the footage that you guys saw in the very beginning that was from before i got sick <laughs> so i was still trying to give some content i think that was like that s sunday or monday um i was still just trying to get some type of b-roll so that was like pre-covid <laughs> um so that was like a little disclaimer <laughs> Hey guys, it is Wednesday. I'm actually at the nail salon early, so I have to wait. I didn't realize they opened at 10. It's 9, 9.45 basically. So I have a little bit of a wait, um, but it's it's busted, you know? <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, I actually really love this, this color, this like nude color. Um, this wasn't the initial color that I was aiming for, but um, but um, the color that I wanted, I wanted like a a moth gray type of vibe. But they didn't have; they were like sold out of that color. But I actually really, I'm like, I'm obsessed. Even though it's so basic, I love that it just matches my skin. It's kind of like this natural like cute look <laughs> um it's kind of like this natural cute look so um i actually really love it mm -hmm. i love it right now i'm at this donut shop but they have these really good breakfast sandwiches so um i'm just gonna pick up a breakfast sandwich i just got a bacon egg and cheese uh, with a little jelly mind you i had this yesterday i literally had this yesterday already but you know whoa you heard that what was that sound chill so back home now um i wanted to show you guys the majority earrings that i got that i uh, mentioned to you guys earlier in the vlog um cute you know they're just really simple um these are the ones that i have to take a picture in actually today so i'm going to do that today um but they're so cute they just come with these little like baggy and then here. so they really look similar to the ones that i have in my ear right now and these are the ones that i have with my um affiliate code one the friends house one but i'm going to switch them over so i can get a proper pitch so they just, they're actually really little. They're just these little cutesy, like a C. Yeah, they don't come all the way around in a circle as opposed to the Franz House ones that are just a little bit thicker um, in their appearance. But they're still cute. This croissant shape I love. It's really just like the classic. Oh, they're so cute and little. <laughs> they are so cute. So I'm going to take a picture in these before the day is really like in, in a little bit, honestly. So. 
So now I'm going to unbox that Kurt Geiger bag that I finally am going to look at. So I'm just setting up my phone so I can get a TikTok out of it. Um, and I moved my table further out so that it can be like more in the light. And then I'll just do it that way. As long as it focuses. I'm gonna move you guys back some. Yeah, like that. Focus. When I say I haven't even taken it out of the box, I mean I haven't even opened it at whatsoever. Like, whatsoever. Let's see. Right. Okay, packing slip, all that good stuff. Um, return slip, if I don't like her. You guys, it has like the double snap here. Double snap. Very soft. It's cute. Have my light. Oh, my light here. Um, I do have the earrings on. I did a little bit to my face to try to make it a little bit cuter. I just have on this dress. So. So I really want like a side profile type of vibe. Um, I'm gonna bring you guys down a little bit. You don't have to. You guys are probably crooked, okay. So I want a side profile look. Um, just so you can really get into the earring. Yeah. Because that's the, the point of the post. So. <laughs> so it'll be like the side view.
So I did get a new um, tripod, as you guys can see. It's just cute and smaller, and it's not like <laughs> in my way. And it also opens out and stuff, so it just stands. I look crazy, but yeah. Hey guys, happy Friday. Um, I have a hole in my mouth, so excuse the way I'm talking. But um, I am getting ready to head to the mall because I really want to film a video. Sorry, like my chair is like <laughs> my chair. Like it's just a couple things going on, y'all. Yes, that's still the Dossier perfume that I never. Well, I took it out of the boxes. I had taken it out of the girl. I'm discombobulated clearly. But I had taken them out of the boxes, but I put them back in the boxes because I was trying to do a TikTok. Like I wanted to film them just kind of in their boxes. As you can see, these boxes are like two different colors. I don't know if that I don't think that was intentional. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. But um I was trying to film them like in a cute little way. Do 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 do. Um and I just never took them back out of the boxes. So trying to get that together. But anyway, girl. I want to film a video. Um, I want to film like a chit chat, get ready with me. Tomorrow is going to be a pretty like busy day for me. So I was like, maybe I'll like get ready and like do like a video. And like I said, I wanted to be a chit chat, get ready with me. And I was thinking maybe I can do like a story time. But I'm like, what story would I tell? Like, <laughs> what story would I tell without? <laughs> I have a story in my mind that I wanted to tell. But I feel like it might be a little much. <laughs> might be a little much. Um, so I was like weary about doing that one. But I ended up just posting. If you guys saw like my little um, YouTube post. So I was asking you guys for like topics, questions. I did get a comment before about doing like a get to know me type of video. So I could do like that type of thing. But it's like y'all. I would have had to kind of bend, formulate the questions and stuff. So I did put it on my Instagram um just for like question suggestions but you know people don't be answering the questions sometimes you know i did have someone say that i should do like a life update um but i kind of um i kind of want a more specific answer like what about my life you know like a life update i mean i kind of did give you guys a life update because I, I talk anyway um i am recovering from well i'm, I'm i had covid so that's kind of like a life update just like telling you guys what i've been doing so that's kind of like a life update but i guess being more specific in terms of what what about my life like what area of my life like i still have my job i don't know um so that's one question um if you guys did see my um youtube post um it's too late for y'all to go back and answer it now because <laughs> by the time you see this video i would have already filmed the other one so i wish y'all could just answer me child okay i wish y'all could give me an answer because I don't really know what to talk about um, to make it like chit chat and make it interesting not just to be talking about nothing like a vlog you know a vlog you just talk about what you're doing and stuff but to make it interesting at the same time so um, I'm getting ready to head to the mall because the video that I want to do I need certain things like I don't have any um, if I'm gonna do my makeup like I might as well try to do it you know like you might as well try to do it so I really wanted to get um, another sunscreen because the sunscreen that I have now that I wear typically from the day to day I did put it on earlier this morning which is why you can't really see like what I'm going to be talking about you can't really see a white cast that it gives basically and that's the reason why I wanted another one excuse me because um I usually get my my moisturizers from Paula's Choice excuse me I had breakfast but I usually get my moisturizers from Paula's Choice but they didn't have the SPF moisturizer that I usually get, so I got a different kind. But that kind makes my skin like white. Like you really have to like work it into your skin in order for it to not be like a white to me. Like I hate how it looks. So I want to I really want to try and get a different one. Um I want to try and get some setting spray just so that when I do my makeup it can like look a little bit better. Just set it. Like I've I don't think I've ever had setting spray. Ever in my life. Never bought one. So I really want to go and get one. <laughs> So when I do the makeup, it can look a little bit better than just like usual. Like, you know, I can give you guys a look, you know. So I basically just want to go to the mall and get some of that stuff. Um, I really, really need another wall plug-in. Not the plug-in, but the scent. I need some more scents because 
they ran out while I was uh, while I was down and out. They ran out, so I need to get some more of those. So I don't really know though. I may. It depends on how much I spend. Like I don't, you know, I ain't trying to do the most. So I was trying to do a TikTok, but I didn't like it. Like you know, just I was trying to do a get ready with me TikTok, but I didn't like my outfit. I was gonna wear that trench coat that I got from well, Misguided months ago. I wanted to wear that and just try to see like how I could style it just for like a little quick look but I didn't like it <laughs> I didn't like it because I don't have a footwear that I want to wear I did order these boots from ego so I feel like those boots might look cuter because they're black like I have my dr. Martens but they're not black so it kind of clashes with the color of the coat so I'm like I can't wear that like it just didn't look right to me so I'm not gonna post the TikTok. I'm probably gonna edit it just to see because I try to do it. I try to make it transitional. Like I try to like drop my sneakers and like have them appear on my feet. Like I try to do that little thing. So I think I'm gonna edit it to make to see like um see how it looks. So that in the future when I do like my outfit, I can actually put some effort into it and make it cute. So with all that being said, wow, it's 10:20. It's late, Morgan. Let me get out of here, okay? My goal was to leave the house by 10, child. But I started doing the TikTok, and that's always going to take you above and beyond, child. So, um, I still have my sister's Christmas gifts. I did get her, um, I, I took you guys to do this with me, actually. I did get her the little Fenty Beauty, um, lip, lip gloss. And then I got her, and I got, I'm just going to give her this one. I remember, I don't know if you guys remember this, when I bought this little clean reserve um, I bought this from Sephora. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to give that to her. It's just like a little travel spray. Um, I like to put the little travel spray type perfumes in my purses. Just on the go. Oh, sorry. Just like on the go. Um, I'll talk to you guys when I come back. I'm going to show you guys what I got. I know I can't film in Sephora. So I end up, I'll just end up showing you guys what I get when I come back. Um, I really want to take my cute little Kurt Geiger bag. It's so cute. It just gives. Look at it. It just gives. It gives like... Material girl, <laughs> that's what it gives me, but um, it doesn't match. Like, my black coat, I only have one like black coat, and the black coat is the one this one from um, what's this brand called? Meniere de Voir, however you pronounce it. Meniere, sorry, I'm all over the place. Meniere de Voir, but it's silver, you see, it's like silver detailing, silver. And then this is so gold that it just clashes in my mind. Like, I don't feel comfortable putting them on together. Like, I have gold jewelry on. Mind you, these are the ones, these are the ones from Fran's house, y'all. Mm hmm Put my code below. I'm always going to put my code in every video. I'm probably going to mention Fran's house in every single video. Because I just always have on their jewelry anyway. But regardless of that, I have on gold and I don't feel comfortable wearing the Kurt Geiger bag with this coat. Like... So I'm probably just going to wear my handy dandy little Forever 21 one. And then on top of that, my camera can't fit in the Kurt Geiger child. I would have to take the lens off and separate it in order to... Let me get out of here. Bye, y'all. So I made it. Um, so the first... store that I want to hit is going to be Miss Lady's Beating Child. Hmm. But anyway, um, the first store that I want to go to is going to be oh, uh, Park Cove or I need to park all the way down here. But anyway, um, I don't know. Y'all going to see. Okay, so Zara is having a sale on their jeans. So these are literally $13. So I'm just going to find a pair that I like um, and then go with that.
Let's talk goodies. Hmm. <laughs> Let's talk goodies. Okay, 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 wait, wait. The bag is ripping. But let me start by saying, like, I'm just now kind of getting over feeling guilty about spending my money. Like, not getting over it, but I'm trying not to feel that way. And I tend to feel that way because it's like, Morgan, why are you spending your money? You should be doing this. You should be saving. You should be at... But honestly, like, buying stuff just makes me feel good. Like, just being able to do, like, it just is priceless, you know? Priceless with money. But anyway, it's priceless. <laughs> just being able to do things for yourself and do things for others. Um, if you know me, you know that, I like, in my personal life, I work a lot. Like, I'm always taking overtime. Um, I get that um, extra money for a reason. I want to be able to do things and show you guys stuff and feel comfortable in my space and feel comfortable with my life. You know, um, if you guys didn't know, I, I did have a, before I moved to my, before I moved, girl, before I moved on my own, I did live with a roommate. So I was paying, of course, less per month and I just had extra money to spend. And now that I have more money to spend, I'm like kind of feeling guilty about like using that extra bit of money just to spend on myself. And um, I'm trying to get out of doing that. So I'm trying not to feel guilty about like splurging my grandma always says just do things in moderation so i kind of i try to i try to remember that like i don't i don't shop every week i don't shop every time i get paid like i don't i don't do that but um i like to feel good just about life you know um yeah just about life but anyway so the main reason for me going to the mall i did have a list of things that i wanted to get but the main thing wanted to, the main thing was sephora that's really where i wanted to go um and um my point in doing that was because i wanted to try this super goop sunscreen now this is the unseen one um wait okay so this is oh my gosh it's it's like this holographic look but anyway so this is the unseen sunscreen um and then they have the other one that's like the glow one so I really wanted to try this one. Octavia B was using this in one of her videos. Um, and like I was telling you guys, the sunscreen that I currently have leaves a very white cast. Like, I hate using the SPF. Like, I use it, of course, because I know that I'm supposed to. But the SPF is just like, it's very much giving a uh, white face. Like, that's kind of what it, that's kind of what it is. Now, this sunscreen applies, like, clear. You guys can't even see it on my hand. But it applies clear um and it's look at that like it's it's wow the texture is everything i was trying to see if there was a smell but basically um it's just like a sunscreen it's an spf so this is going to be great to use i guess in combination with a moisturizer um i'm pretty sure you can probably use this by itself um this is spf 40 um and I was really, I'm, I'm excited about using this because like I said, the one that I have, I've been, I've been using it, but I do feel like it gives me like a white cast, like, you know, um, now the super group is defined. It says, um, for all skin types, natural finished, um, oil free, uh, non irritating, vegan, cruelty free, like I said, SPF 40. So it's a pretty good, um, SPF <laughs> and that, and it just really does moisturize my skin. Now the glow one that they have in there has a slight tint to it. Um, but it only comes in one shade of tint. Like it's like a, it's like a caramel color or like a tannish color. Like what she was showing me, it's like a tannish color. And I guess when you rub it in, it's supposed to leave like a glow look. But I just want a regular, just give me the unseen. Like just give me the regular, I don't need the tint and all that stuff, you know. Um, that's not really what I care for. So um, the other thing that I wanted to get is I wanted to get, I had on my list to buy the Laura Mercier, um, Laura Mercier setting powder because I don't really I have a powder in there but it's um white like it's very it's a white powder but I wanted something with a little bit of tint I wanted something that the girls talk about everyone talks about the Laura Mercier um but the girl um in there that I was working with she convinced me to get the Fenty Beauty one <laughs> um and this is in the shade Cashew it's super cute and like I said it's just a powder it's a translucent powder so as I'm doing my makeup I can um set it and it looked good now i did get the mini one because this is just my first one and i kind of wanted to test it out a little bit before i opted for just a big one 
um oh that's so cute it's fb oh my gosh i wonder if it's gonna focus it's a glare oh can y'all see that it says fb the holes are like fb <laughs> anyway um so it's just like a brownish tint color i'm not going to open it just yet because i'm not using it yet <laughs> i'm not going to use it but it comes with like this little pad this little like powder pad i guess you can just kind of blot on your skin that way i'm probably not going to use it i usually just use like a beauty blender or a brush and i'll just kind of pat it under my eye so um i'm excited about using this one um and like i said this is just a mini one as you guys can see the size it's pretty it's literally the palm of less than the palm of my hand so um excuse me i was excited about that so that's these are all things that i went there for you know i made sure that i was getting stuff that i purposely wanted to purchase um and then the other one that i wanted to get is just this nars foundation this is the one that just just dropped um this is recommended by octavia b she was just talking about it on her channel so this is the light reflecting foundation um and this is the shade i got the new caledonia deep two um and I really do like this one. Um, I do have a NARS product already, but it's the um, the NARS product that I have currently is just the tinted moisturizer that I literally got a couple years ago, like a couple years ago. So this one um, was the closest to my shade. The other kind that we tried, um, it was just a little bit too dark. I, I tried those step above this, the color above this one. I can't remember the name of it, but the one that I actually ended up going with is the new Caledonia. So um, I'm excited to use that. Like I said, this is really just, um, this is the purpose of me buying this stuff. It was for the video that I want to film. And I just want to make sure that I have products that are working, products that I need, because I really don't have a foundation at the moment. Honestly, I really don't have a foundation. When I do my makeup, I really just do concealer, and that's it like i never apply like a foundation foundation so if i'm going to try to learn how to do my makeup and get better at it then i need to probably have the products that will help me do my makeup probably should have the product um so that's the motivation for that and then i got some then i just got this kills um ultra face cream and the reason i got this was because i had points so this one was basically just my free item um like i said this is the kills um facial cream and um I always hear about Kills, the brand itself. I feel like, I kind of feel like I had something by Kills, but maybe I, oh, it's two. Oh, it's two and one. I didn't know that. It's two and one. So it's the ultra face cream, and then it comes with the, a cleansing mask. So it's just these two items. Let me just show you guys the names, just in case. Um, if you shop at Sephora, this is like, like I said, this is the free gift that they had that I was able to cash out with my points. So that was a free gift, and then... I went ahead y'all and I got a Sephora credit card okay before you <laughs> before you have your comments and your thoughts child I don't have a I don't have a credit card with the store like at all like growing up you know girls would do the um girls would do the um Victoria's Secret like I have a couple friends that have like a Victoria's Secret credit card and they have a Forever 21 credit card this is the only one that I ever have and I just now um I just recently got my actual credit card um i really feel like it was like the beginning of the year yeah the beginning of the year i got a credit card it had to be like in the summer um so this is my first store credit card which i got approved for so that was cool um and then i just um i put this stuff on it and then i'll just pay that off um next week when i get paid i'm just gonna pay them right off so um they gave me a gift because i <laughs> because i signed up or because i got approved um and you i got to pick from like three different little goodie bags so I'm just gonna open this one. I only picked this one because I saw it has the flower, the Victor and Raw flower bomb scent in here. And um, it just caught my eye, like literally, as soon as she put it on the counter, it caught my eye. Because I wanted to, I, I told you guys I had the Dossier Victor and Raw um, inspired perfume, which is the Gourmet White Flowers. That one's inspired by the Victor and the, the flower bomb. Um, but I wanted to get the actual one and then I could compare it for real and then see like if the dossier smells actually like this one. <laughs> um, so just a goodie bag, a bunch of little, um, I'm going to show you guys exactly what they are. So these are just like the little goodies basically. <laughs> so this is just the, uh, what is this? Oh, this is a sleeping cream. So they give you like sample packs of a bunch of different things in this little goodie bag. Sleeping cream, they give you some, um, I have some Sunday Riley here and I actually used to use Sunday Riley face wash um I used to use Sunday 
I think I had the toner and a face wash. I used to have, I used to use Sunday Riley basically. So I would and actually use this one. This is just a, a retinoid serum. So I would use that one. So this one is for, a, this is a heat protectant. This is some Dermalogica, a cleansing gel. This is some, uh, this is a whey um, detox shampoo. And I always see whey on Instagram. I know it's, it's spelled weird. It's pronounced whey though, if you guys have never seen the brand. Um, I feel like I have this brand on my on my list to pitch to way and then they gave me the Dr. Dennis gross gross pads which I actually already have so I will really be getting use out of this um, they gave me the Tatcha deep cleanse little sample um, the light the Sun is shining so it's it's really not picking up that well sorry guys and then just a mini flower bomb scent this is just a little spray. I'm actually gonna smell it really quickly because, girl, uh, I really wanted to try this anyway. Let me just give it a little. It's so small. I feel so discombobulated trying to do it. Oh. Okay. Okay. I can see why that smells. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> flower bomb. I get why it's called flower bomb. It's very floral. Um, but it smells nice. It smells nice. So that was all from Sephora. Um, should I keep my receipt? I don't, I'm not going to take anything back. So it's like not, okay. Beauty Insider, ding, 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 Um, what else? I got approved, yada, yada, yada. I agree to play the, da, 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 da. Okay, so I'm actually going to keep this <laughs> because I did, like I said, I did get a credit card with Sephora. So, um, oh, one more thing. I just saw this. This is Makeup Forever. So it's just, I guess, a mini little sample size lip gloss bread, clearly. Um, so that's all from Sephora, which I'm actually very happy about. Just trying not to feel guilty about spending my money. Like, <laughs> I'd be like, Morgan, why are you spending money? Because I want to, damn it. I want to. I want to, I want to feel good about my life and like I'm not just existing and I'm not enjoying good stuff, enjoying quality products, like whatever. Um, anyway on to the next okay so the other thing that i did do when i went in here i got um my purpose of going to the mall i needed more scents for my wall plug uh. <laughs> sorry i low-key did the most low-key low-key but we, we're not gonna talk about that but anyway i got some from bath and body works some wall plugs um they were five for 24 so i got like two champagne toast kinds I'm actually going to plug these up like right now because I ran out completely. So I got champagne toast. I got some cozy linen. Um, oh, I love the smell of linen. Like that's my jam. Fresh sheets. Like <laughs> fresh sheets. Okay. I got mahogany coconut, which is like a very pretty coconutty smell. It smells kind of like a cologne, coconut cologne. Mahogany always reminds me of like a man. It gives me that vibe. But it has some coconut in it, which kind of calms it down. And then I got another champagne toast. So I'm going to pop in. Um, I, I bought two champagne toasts because I was thinking maybe I can just have the same scent across the house. But I keep one in my bathroom. And that scent can easily just be different than a house. It doesn't have to like be the same. So I'm going to do uh, fresh sheets for like the living room area. Then I'm going to do champagne toast for my bathroom. So that is just bath and body works and then the other purpose of going to the mall i wanted to get the mac fix plus spray um and i was telling the woman in there that i've never had i've never had a setting spray i think i mentioned that to you guys earlier did i say that already i'm not really sure i don't know who i was i don't know if i was talking to y'all or talking to the lady um i did tell her that actually too but i just never had a fix plus spray i've never had like that finish i just got the the og the regular the original they had like a coconut one they had a rose one they had a shimmer glittery one i didn't need none of that you know they had a matte one but i'm like you know what morgan just give a little wait let me oh oh That's my first one, so I'm all hype. <laughs> um, so that was Mac. I'm not going to return that, so I'm not going to keep the receipt. Um, and then, and then, I did go to Zara. Now, that was not what I was supposed to be doing, okay? I wasn't supposed to be going to Zara. I won't lie to y'all. 
but they were having a sale and it was just calling my name and I was walking by and at first I was like this and I was like Zara <laughs> they called my name like Morgan Morgan come on in uh, anyway <laughs> so um one thing that I've been um looking at a lot lately is coats like and it's crazy because when I'm online shopping for coats the thing is I was looking for a cute classic winner like cute like classy looking coat not like a bubble coat like I usually wear I was looking for something more classy something that'll look cute with like my little Kurt Geiger bag just give an adult that's kind of what I was looking for like a not a pea coat but like a trench coat type of vibe like I, I wanted to try other things basically I don't want to just keep buying bubble coats I feel like um I wanted to be able to switch it up a little bit so I was looking on pretty little thing because they were having a sale at one point um and I was I had some coats in my cart and then I guess the sale was over before I purchased so the coats are all regular price and they have to be pushing like a hundred dollars and when I was in Zara I'm like this coat is not a hundred dollars I don't know if it's the difference between in-store and online because I know Pretty Little Thing is not better than Zara. I mean, like, Zara Zara gets quality. Zara can definitely get some quality quality clothes. Pretty Little Thing, I don't want to say I consider it fast fashion, but, like, I was just surprised at their coats online being $100 plus, the same type of, type of style, being $100 plus when I'm in Zara with this cute coat and it's not even, and it's not that expensive. So I got it in black, of course. I'm actually going to stand, move you guys up so that um, you guys can really see it. But uh, <laughs> I'm sitting here like, what did I buy? So, okay. So at first, okay. So it just looks like this, right? It has the buttons and it has like the wrap around like a pico type of vibe. I just realized it has a hood on it because I was trying on other coats, actually. I'm going to move you guys up a little bit. I was, wait, I'm going to come back. Okay. So I feel like I'm like crooked a little bit. Like I'm slanted. Hmm. Anyway, but I was trying on coats and I was trying on like a pea coat type of vibe. Um, they had some like, you know, pea coats in different colors. They had like a, a dark, like a chocolate brown one. They had a light brown one. They had a light gray one, which were the ones that I was looking at initially. And then I came across this one because it was black. <laughs> It was the black for me. Now, granted, I probably do need to stray away from black. But this is the first. It's not like I keep buying the same item in the same color, you know. I don't have a coat, this this kind of coat in black. Well, I don't have this kind of coat at all. But you know what I'm trying to say. Like, it's not like I keep buying these types of coats in the same color, you know. So, I'm going to try this on. Now, the thing about this one is that they didn't have... Um, they didn't have a larger size, which I was bummed out about, but I probably don't need a larger size. As you guys can see, it's kind of like, you know, it fits. It's a small, so you basically just kind of bring it in, and then it has like the little thing or a little tie. So it's giving very much like if I had something important to do or if I wanted to look cute for a look. Um, if I look dressy, then a bubble coat sometimes can like mess up a dressy look to me. Um... And then I would just put on my little bit. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. My hair be done. If my hair was done, it would look like better. But anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. But I thought it was cute. Just a little. Yeah, like you ever see like your hairstyle can really like change the whole look of the outfit. If my hair was different, I feel like it would look. It would bring the look together if my hair was done. But anyway, um, basically that's kind of like the look I was going for. And like I said, I just noticed it had a hood. I thought it didn't because the other coats that I was looking at didn't have hoods. So, I'm just noticing it has a hood on it. Um, I'm trying to think, though. I do like wearing it open. Wearing it open is cute, too, if I had, like, a nice little dressy outfit on. And um, I want it to kind of look stylish and give a cute, warm... It's like this wool material. Um, yeah, I like it. So, I'm back. Um, but I was just saying the other coats that I was trying on didn't have the tie to them i feel like the tie just wraps it in better um they were kind of just open they didn't have any buttons they kind of just look like this <laughs> just open open flat kind of coats which were still cute because they had some color to them like i said they had the light gray they had this chocolate brown they had the chest this chestnut color like a nice brown color um they had a light brown so it was cute but they didn't have the tie the tie is what brings it together you know what i'm saying the tie brings it all the way together um, so let's move on. 
And then I just got this little top from Zara, um, which was kind of cute, just with the ties on the side. Just plain, basic, white, long sleeve. Um, I feel like I don't, I don't have any long sleeve white shirts. Yeah, I don't have any long sleeve white shirts. I don't think so. Like, this is just a class, like, you know, just classic stuff. Stuff that you can't go wrong with pieces that you'll, I'm going to use forever. Like, this shirt, you guys, I'm pretty sure you've seen it before. I've had this for years, but it's just like a long sleeve black shirt. Like, it's just very basic. You can just throw it on. It's like a turtleneck. You know, you just kind of, you can't go wrong with it, you know. And then I got these pairs, this pair of jeans I was showing you guys in the actual dressing room. I literally had five pairs of jeans, and I may have liked, like, I kind of like two other pair, but it was kind of like I didn't really like need them. Like they weren't like, okay, I really like these. It wasn't like that. They were just like cute. You know, they fit. So that was like a big thing. But this is just, um, it says a skinny with a split hem. So this is just a nice little skinny leg. And like I said, it has a split hem. So it looked really good on me. Um, it fit my shape. Um, I'm constantly in there trying to figure out what size I am. But apparently I am a six. So, um, I was, I also brought many pairs of jeans into the fitting room because they were just, um, I'm trying to figure out my size. Like, I don't know if I'm a six. I know I'm not a four. I passed the fours and all that. I've never been a two, but I passed the four. Okay. So I'm at, I was like, okay, am I a six or like, am I an eight? Am I a Zara six or a Zara eight? I wasn't really sure. So, um, I was trying on different ones, but these really caught my attention the absolute most. So cute. Okay. And they were, on, like I said, on sale. These were $13. So they had all their jeans were on sale. I really want another pair of black pair. Like I have these black jeans on now, but they're so, I can't even keep my rounds. Let me, why am I trying to show y'all like that and just show you guys like this? But they're so faded. I got these from H&M like years and years ago. So tremendously faded. Like I, I, I was really trying to find another pair. Sometimes the faded look is, come on Alfalfa, this is crazy. <laughs> but anyway, um, sometimes, you know, you, um, the faded look sometimes looks right. You know, like if it's a faded pair of jeans, it's supposed to look that way. Sometimes you buy them and they have like a faded washed look. Um, but I was looking for like a crisp pair of black jeans and I just couldn't find a cute pair of my size. So that was that. And then the last thing that I got from Zara was just this cute little bag. It's adorable. I'm not going to lie to you. Very adorable. This is on sale as well for $13. Um, I just thought this was so cute and it's silver. So that's really what caught my eye as well. Because a lot of times these bags will have gold detailing. And sometimes you don't even want to throw a little silver in there. Now mind you, a lot of my jewelry nowadays is gold. Like... My jewelry with friends, I probably should, you know what? The next thing I purchase from her, I'm probably gonna make it silver. I'm, I'm gonna get something silver next time. But it has like this little chain strap, which I wouldn't use. I would just tuck this inside. Um, and it's just this really pretty blue color. Really cute, like, it's so cute. It's very sturdy, it has like a nice shape to it. You know, it has like these little, you know, the bottom detailing, this little croc look. This was really cute to me, and I don't have another bag this color. Um, and it kind of gives, like, luxury. Like, don't it look like something else? Like, I might be carrying, like, a little Balenciaga. Like, don't it look like something? Don't it look like something else? It's so cute, though. But it's Zara, and I love that because it's this it's just right in my lane. So, um, and it looks pretty deep. Like, I would be able to fit a decent amount of things in here. Oh, I can't tuck the strap without closing the zipper? Ooh. I don't like that. <laughs> I can't tuck the strap without closing the zipper. Wow. So I have to keep the strap out. That is rude. Won't lie to you. Just carrying it like this. Oh, I hate it. I hate that. I'm not going to lie. I would much rather tuck it in, but then I won't be able to. Well, I don't even need to zip up the bag because as you guys can see, it's kind of like, it already looks like it's closed in a way. You know, it's it's tight. I mean, I guess it would depend on what I have inside of it. But, excuse me. Um, Super cute. So that was the last thing that I got. And I'm actually really happy with everything. Like, I was sitting here talking to myself like, Morgan, like, <laughs> you're spending money. Stop spending money. But it's like, it's my money. <laughs> it's my money and I need it now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm pretty much going to do like, um, I'm probably going to do a TikTok. I do have to work soon. What time is it? Yeah, I have to leave for work in about 40 minutes. <laughs> So that's like not enough time to just chill. Like, you know, 40 minutes is nothing. Because next thing you know it's 30 minutes, next thing you know it's 20 minutes, next thing you know it's 10. Like, <laughs> it just goes like this, right? So um, I'm just going to like, 
I'm probably going to record some of the things that I got. I wanted to go on um, Instagram if you guys are following me. I wanted to show you guys what the foundation looks like on my skin. But I may end up just doing that tomorrow. Um, just because I have 40 minutes. And by the time I get done and wipe the makeup off my face. And like it's going to be time to go. So I'm going to put this stuff away. I'm just going to record like do 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 for TikTok. And then um, and call it a day. So, like I said, I do have to work, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow I do have a video shoot. Um, and I do do a double tonight, so I don't get off until 7 a.m. tomorrow. So, I do have a video shoot, and then, um, yeah, so I, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to film tomorrow, too. So, hopefully I'll be able to have that video off for you guys. Uh, We're going to see. I'm going to stop saying stuff because sometimes life happens, and then, uh, anyway, see y'all. I did have to stop at the um I had to stop at the ATM because I didn't I didn't have any money in my car so um I had to take out some money but I'm still on time and everything um this is just like a shoot for um uh her name is well her her platform name is Miked Up with Monty so she basically just interviews entrepreneurs between Philly and Jersey um, and I just record the video for her and I edit it and stuff like that. So I mentioned her on my channel to you guys a couple times before, but if you are new here, that is what I'm doing. I'm just recording her video or her interview. It basically it's like an interview. So I do have my camera tripod and I have like a light with me just in case it's like dull in there, but it's like a pop-up shop and stuff. So it should be cute. Uh, I'm just wearing like all black in my like Doc Martens. And then I just put on this jacket over top of my all black outfit so it's really simple i'm behind the camera i don't really need to look cute but i did something to my face today um because i filmed a get ready with me so i was like you know what maybe i'll get cute for the sake of the video really like other to other any other time it's no makeup it's i'll do my hair or something but it's no makeup it's nothing like special so um I am 23 minutes away, so I'm just going to be driving, headed that way, and I will still show you guys the venue. If you guys are interested to see, like, the interview and stuff, I'm going to put T. Monty's Instagram on the screen, or right here on the screen, so that you guys can um, check her Instagram out, and it should be really interesting. It'll be really cute, I'm pretty sure, and I will see you guys there. Hey guys, I'm back home. Um, the event was cute. I know y'all saw a little bit snippets and I tried to record like some of the people that were there, some of the guests, just everyone having a good time. Um, but it was cute. I got some good footage. I think that clip is going to turn out or that like interview is going to turn. Well, oh, I'm scared actually because one thing that I don't have for my camera are like mics. Um, so 
we were like struggling with the mic issue they had music playing and that's one thing that's hard too because it's like you have to project over the music and stuff because a lot of these events they be having like music um so that was like a struggle initially so i do have to check the footage to see um how it came out um and now i'm just getting ready to head back out <laughs> and you see my fedex box um but i'm i'm getting ready to head back out because my cousin's it's my cousin's birthday and he at he invited me out to uh this little place that is kind of popular in jersey and at first i wasn't gonna go i'm sorry y'all i'm just i'm I might tilt you. I'm going to tilt y'all this way maybe. Yeah, because I'm like back and forth. But at first I wasn't going to go. But, well, no, I'm lying. I did tell him initially that I was going to go. So, um, that was like a part of the plan. But I was so tired. Like, y'all doing that long behind shift just had me drained and tired. And I really was contemplating on if I wanted to go when I got home. Because I'm like, okay, I had a video shoot. I didn't come home, I didn't come home to go to sleep. Because I explained to you guys, like, that was just pointless for me to do. Or did I explain it to you guys? It was just pointless for me to come home and go to sleep because me and baby little cat naps don't really go. Like, if I have, I don't like taking naps before I have something to do. Like, if I have something important to do and I'm really tired, I probably shouldn't go to sleep because having to get up and just, like, suck it up, even though I'm tired, I done fell into a deep sleep, I'm irked. Like, <laughs> I don't be wanting to get up. So, I should probably not do that to myself. Um, so, I was like, let me just not go to sleep. So, I'm really tired, basically. Um, but his little, he's it's like an, an event. Like, I don't even know. I think it's just like a section. Like, maybe they, I think they just have like a table. Like, just a little a, a space for specifically them. Because, or specifically us. Because it's only from 7 to 10. Like, it's kind of reserved from like a... a uh, time frame so it's only until 10 he did mention they were doing something after that but I have to work tomorrow I'm tired I'm coming home child um, as much as like I love being with my family and I actually haven't seen them in a very long time which is another reason why I was just like I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go uh, I'm just gonna go and just chill with them because I just haven't seen them in su such a long time so I'm actually about to, I was sitting there in my, in my, um, in front of my heater and I was chilling so hard, y'all. I was like, oh my gosh, Morgan, I need to get up like right now. Cause if I don't get up, then I'm going to cancel the whole night, which is fine. Like if I really felt the need to really just sleep, then cool. But I really don't see my cousin. He went to school in Atlanta. So I, I don't even remember the last time I saw him. It's really been years, honestly, since I've seen him. So he invited me out. So I'm like, all right, let me just be a, um, just be out for a little bit. I'm only going to be there for a little bit because it's only, it's already going on 7.30. It was from 7 to 10. So, and what am I about to do? Make a TikTok. <laughs> um, but another reason for that is because I texted him and I, I told him to let me know when they were leaving because he said they were at like a hotel and they were going to, they were still basically in a hotel. So I'm like, okay, well, just let me know when you leave. And then, oh, I hate this, actually. Ugh. I was going to do a, a get ready with me, a, like, get dressed with me. But the lighting is poor. Hmm. Um, ooh, maybe I'll do it on my camera. Maybe I'll do it on my camera. Anyway. <laughs> um, uh, was I, oh, he was at the hotel. So I'm like text me when you leave because I don't want to get there before y'all and I'm not like if I get there before y'all I'm clearly not going inside like I would have to sit in my car which is fine because it's a Saturday and that means the place is probably packed there's probably no parking <gasps> wow the place is probably packed and no parking hmm um that's a thought but um I really want to do a little quick um a little quick um uh get dressed with me I picked out my outfit already so I was just going to get on camera put on the shirt put, put on my pants put my boots on I'm going to wear my Kurt Geiger bag um, and just kind of bring the outfit together that way. So I wanted to do that really quickly. Literally, I'm just getting dressed, but I'm just recording it as I go. So I'm going to probably see you guys next. Um, I'm going to see you guys next when I get there because my camera lighting, like, it, it just sucks in here. It's just not, it's not good. It's just not good quality. Um, oh, maybe if I move the light up. Maybe if the light is up a little bit more. But, um, y'all, 
<laughs> Drop the mic. Oh I'm, oh, I'm about to cackle. When I watched that footage of me jumping at that, I would, oh my gosh, I'm going to laugh at myself. But, um, yeah, I'm going to talk to you guys shortly so that I can, um, so that I can get this done and over with so I can get out of here. <laughs> okay, so this is the setup that I'm going to try to work with my light and then I forgot I had this ring light so um let's see I mean I'm supposed to be back more because so that you can see my outfit so um I'll have to figure it out somehow so you can see like my boots or maybe I'll just like put my leg up but the point wasn't to get the doorway I was supposed to be just like over here sorry y'all but maybe I'll just like put my leg up and kind of just do it like this even though the green is in the way, like, ugh, I'm being all particular. Sorry, I'm I'm being all particular. But it's like, come on. My, this is all in the clip, like, ugh. But, I don't know, I'll figure it out. I'm gonna put you guys off to the side and then go from there. Okay, um, the, um it'll be like this, get dressed with me. Put my shirt on, transition into my bottom, but you can't really see my feet. I hate that. That's like messing up the point. I guess whatever. The rest of my house is supposed to be in it. Yeah, because I want you to be able to see like my feet when I put my boots on. Y'all can't see my feet, but I want to make sure my cam my phone is picking it up. I gotta make sure I'm back against the wall. It looks like it's crooked. And that that's sometimes an issue too with these little tripods. My phone be crooked and I don't notice until I actually finish with the clip. It's annoying. I look kind of short. Maybe I should just move this down. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's much better. I had to move the whole phone down. Okay, so let me see if it's crooked. I can't really tell. It doesn't look like it, but let me hurry up before my cousin texts me. Baby, take a I just wanna find you. Why did I was doing my thing and I get a low storage notification? This stupid phone. Like, <sighs> uh, I was like, y'all, I'm like really through the fit. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my lesson. I've been single for a while now, and I've been kind of lonely. Okay, so I literally deleted um, like a whole conversation that was over like, that was like two gigabytes. So I'm doing better with my storage now. And I basically, I just have on, well, let me see. I just basically have on this little coat. Um, I was gonna wear a black one, but the black one has like silver detail like this silver zippers silver like it was too much silver and this bag is just too gold for me to really be trying to mix it up like that so i just decided to go for this brown one because the brown buttons i mean the buttons on here are gold and then i have just the black with the black boots um i know my place is a mess so i'm really going to straighten it up before i go um and that's it i'm gonna try to yeah i'm gonna fix this up because this is crazy <laughs> don't know how well the tiktok came out because my little malfunction um it annoyed me because well whoa it annoyed me because um i couldn't remember exactly where my feet placement were like during the beginning of the video before my storage messed up i was keeping my feet in the same place i was just grabbing my next item but still keeping my feet like planted in the same space so then i had to get my phone off the tripod which like messed up the positioning of the tripod so like now my phone might be like slightly slightly over in the clips like it may really have messed up the whole tiktok but i was filming today as it is like i was filming for like a mini vlog type of thing today so i will have a footage i will have footage for that which i'll probably post on tiktok tomorrow it's too late well it's not too late to post but yeah it's too late for me to post because i'm not doing it right now so um so i'm about to just switch over my stuff into this bag and then i'm going to put some reapply my lip liner my lip gloss 
put some more perfume on i am going to do the carolina herrera um my good girl one which I love um and then i'm gonna he didn't even text me that's the funny thing about it i'm just gonna like text him but i'm also the lighting is just poor but i'm gonna text him and then just kind of be on my way because it's already eight o'clock and i'm really trying to get there get a parking spot stay a little bit mingle go home like you know i ain't trying to do too much <laughs> i'm tired y'all i really just want to go out i think um it'll be a cute night but i'm already tired so i'm not trying to do the most um and i do have to work tomorrow so i'm gonna I'm clean up a little bit switch over the bag make sure i have my wallet id all that good stuff and then lip gloss and then we're gonna get ready to go <laughs> hey guys it is um sunday morning um i had such a good time last night it's crazy because i had an i had the intention of my hands are so dry oh my gosh i had the intention of filming while i was out with my family and stuff girl i forgot my camera i mean my, i forgot my battery like I, I had switched the bag that I was using for the the video shoot and the battery is just sitting at the bottom of my bag. I'm like, really? I completely forgot to put it in my little Kurt Geiger bag. Um, so that was annoying. But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to record on my phone. And then as you guys can see from the clips, I was like, all right, let me just try to figure out how I want to still incorporate this night in a way. So um, it's so funny because I saw this post before and it was like, uh, which side of your family is like the wilder one and it was like it's your mom's right <laughs> yeah my mom's side of the family is a little bit more um out there than my dad's side of the family it's so funny like going to like a family event and my, on my dad's side of the family like christmas or um thanksgiving it's not really like hard liquor like they may be like beer and stuff but my family doesn't indulge in that way but in my mom's side of the family everybody gonna have a drink everybody gonna have a little something something Everybody's having a good time, you know. Um, it's it's a completely different like vibe, low key. Um, so it was fun, you know. We just went to this little restaurant type of thing. They had like a, a, a side that was like cut off from the rest of everybody, like a a section, like a, like a big section though. Like it was a family room type of thing um, to celebrate my cousin's birthday. And it's funny because he lives in Atlanta. I was just telling you guys, like I don't. Um, just going in other going to other states and meeting other content creators uh, oh I was talking about that in my other video not this one y'all sorry but um, he's like you got to come out land like you have to and then I didn't even know that they lived out there like it's a couple of my cousins he went to Morehouse and then um, my little cousin he also went to Morehouse so they all live like in Atlanta now so I was like wow um, He's like, yeah, you got to come out here. I said, I'm going to come out there. Probably when it gets a little nicer, a little bit warmer. I've never been to Atlanta before. Um, so I'm definitely going to come out there. I'm definitely going to go out there. He's like, you got somewhere to stay. Like, you know, we family, yada, yada, yada. So that'll be nice. Go to Atlanta with the family. Um, so that was cool. Such a fun night. I was, um, I came home, took a shower, took my makeup off. Um, and I hopped right in the bed. Like, I didn't, I really wanted some Cheez-Its. Like, I was, <laughs> I was in the bed like, oh, I wanted some Cheez-Its. And then I just fell asleep. Um, so that was a nice night. So I'm excited. I'm happy that I went. Because I was so tired, like, getting, I got stuck at work. I told you guys that. And I was just exhausted. I was like, oh my gosh, do I really want to go? Like, before I was getting dressed, I'm sitting, I'm laying in the bed like, y'all, mm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm tired, but I'm definitely glad that I went because I haven't seen them in literally years. Like, I haven't seen my family in years. Um, I think the last time I saw them, yeah, the last time I saw them, I was living in my old place. Um, and it was after she, like, graduated, after one of my cousins graduated high school. Because I remember she wanted to bring her friends and stuff to my house after they graduated. So, that was, like, pre-pandemic. That was pre-pandemic. That had to be, like, maybe 2000 of not 11 y'all what am i talking about 2019 ish around there somewhere so i was happy to see them <laughs> the birds i was happy to see them and um 
it was a good night so now i'm just gonna i'm trying to clean up a little bit because i came in you didn't strip i didn't strip my clothes off and my coat is on the floor oh my kurt geiger guys it's funny because one of my um family members there i think she was like my cousin you know how sometimes you have people there that you don't you don't really know that well but you they like a cousin of the cousin and whatever so she was there and she had a kurt geiger too but she had the bigger xxl one with the black chain and the black and the black um what's this an eagle I think it's an eagle. So, yeah, she had the black detailing one, and it was so cute. And she was talking about how satisfied she was with the quality of Kurt Geiger and just how it was, like, surprising. Um, and I was like, yeah, like, it's a it's a quality bag. It's not as expensive as, like, you know, Chanel. You know, it's not expensive, but it's such a good quality, y'all. Like, I absolutely love it. Um, I think I did. I, get, I think I gave you guys a close-up of it, but it's just so cute. It's a really soft material, a really soft leather um, the inside does carry a lot, but I did have to break my camera down. I just took the lens off, um, but I have the Canon M50, so you guys, well, I know a lot of other vloggers and stuff have the smaller um, Sony camera, the ZF1 or whatever it's called, the VZ1, I don't know. But um, I did have to break my camera down to fit in the little compartments because it's I don't know if you guys can really see, but it's basically just two compartments. So I just broke my camera down, took my lens off, and put the body in the other side. And it was it was fine, just like that. So I'm still very spacious inside of here. I'm just going to put it away because um, it's just sitting on my floor. I did keep, like, the little stuffing paper that they give you, and I was going to put it back in there. Um, really just to help it keep its shape. I know some people do that with their sneakers and stuff. Like they keep the little stuffing papers in there. So I'm just going to keep it in there. Um, I'm not really sure when the next time I'm going to wear it. Definitely as time goes on, I stop doing stuff like that. Like I don't always, I don't always keep the paper in it. If I'm going to be wearing it frequently, like I stop doing it every day. But um, it's about 10 o'clock. I literally allowed myself to sleep in <laughs> because, like I said, I was just so tired. I didn't set any alarm. I just decided, I'm going to let my body do what it's going to do, okay? So, I woke up in the middle of the night once because I always do that to go to the bathroom. Um, and it was still dark outside. So, by the time I woke up again, it was like 9. Um, so, I was like, you know what? Let me just get up. Wow. My hair probably looks a mess. <laughs> Sorry, y'all, if it looked... <laughs> Because I just, um, I slept with it in two ponytails. Like, I just kept the two sides, and I just put, like, two buns. And that's how I slept with my hair. But, um, I'm getting my hair done next week. So, um, I just put it back in a little ponytail. I was like, whatever. I don't really care about work. You know, that's all I'm doing today is going to work. And then I have a double. So, well, I'll be at work again, um, up until 7. So, hopefully I don't get stuck again. We're going to see, like... They are sick, girl. They are sick. Sick people. Um, but yeah, it's 10 o'clock, so I'm just going to make some breakfast. I kind of want some boiled eggs. But the only thing that irks me about boiled eggs is they just take too long. Like, I be having to... I, I like to. I like my to be hard-boiled. I don't like that soft inside. So I do boil them sort of for a good, like, 15 minutes. Well, I do let them sit in the water for a good, like, 15 minutes. But sometimes eggs, you know, you just want eggs. You know, you just... I'm hungry, you know? So um, I'm going to just boil some because that's kind of what I'm in the mood for. And um, I'm going to make some of that vegan bacon. It's good. 